Welcome back. <coughs> right. I hope you can hear me with this wind. Right, we're at a different place today. I brought you somewhere else. This is probably not been seen on YouTube, this video, this place, and this venue. So now it's the 22nd of October. And we are at Old Old. Like I say, you won't see this place. I've got to walk right over there to the River Humber. Let's set this camera up again. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit wobbly. It's a bit windy today. It's not uh, uh, It's a bit windy. It is a bit windy. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, I'm at Old Earl. When we get over there, I've got a bit of a walk, a long walk. So when I get to the far shore, I'll put you back on again. But it's just something different. All right, see you soon. All right, this is where you walk. And you walk right over. Let's see if we can zoom. Right over towards that clock tower, where that box is there. So that's where we're going to walk to. It's now 11.40. We'll see how long it takes us. Right, I've just brought you back. There's the bank there, and there's another little bit to walk. And this is how far I've walked already. <laughs> Right where the houses are, it's right over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. So that's where I've walked from, right down the side of this field. Make sure you walk along this field, don't walk across. So this, and that's where I'm walking to. So yep, yeah, I'll carry on. Right, that's where I've walked from, right over there. Right where the houses are, the cars right over there. This is the dike, <coughs> and this is the path to walk across there to go up onto this bank. We're still not where we are. Oh, yeah, I'm just showing you this. So go careful when this is wet, and I'll bring you back when we get to the other side. Right, that's where we've walked from. Right from over there. You can see there's a red car over there, I think. Right from over there. A bit. I think it was hard though, walking that snow. Sorry. Right. There's the younger estuary. Follow me over There's Paul over there. That's all towards that's Grimmington to be. That's in the of the sun. That's towards Hawkins Point. And that's where we'll be fishing on that far shore. That's the sluice. Uh, one of my friends has already gone down there a bit earlier. So yeah, just somewhere different. I said, you won't see so many videos from around here. And I wanted to do this anyway, so the work on that bad actually, to be fair. Do some work, but if you just take your time and make sure you do keep to the path edge, don't walk across this field, please. Just give a bit of respect to the landowners. Anyway, get down there, walking down that lane, get to the far shore, and we'll bring you back when we get set up. See you soon. Hello. I hope you can hear with this wind. It's very windy today. As you 
can see I've got one rod out already. Just put a TZ500. Tad's just starting to make in now. We're fishing up to high water. I might just give it an hour down. I've decided to fish with one rod, I think. Uh, we used to fish like that in the match days. So. And I've got a friend down. He's on sluice. I'll show you the sluice. Danny Frost. He used to fish for I used to fish with rackets with him and his dad. I oh, saw his granddad, Trevor. That's a sluice down there. I don't know if I can zoom in a bit, man. There's Danny. It's not an ideal place to cast enough. Off. <laughs> off these rocks, I've just casted off the top of this the bank. So what I got that far out. Yeah, that's the River Humber. Totally different place than the other videos you would have seen. Spare point is out there. Towards that there. So yeah, I can say there won't be many videos like this. <laughs> It's just somewhere different. I don't like taking it to the same place all the time. I'll just try to get out that window a little bit. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit slippery on the rocks. I hope you can see the rods in I might just stand this side. Yeah, and hold on to my rod rest. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just fishing with TZ500. Oh, you might not be able to see me there. Just pull you around a little bit. That might be a bit better. <laughs> like I say, it's a bit slippery on here. But it can produce some cod, this place. Can. That's, I think it took me about 30 minutes to walk that, because I did stop doing filming and all that stuff. Uh, I've got everything set up. The camera's nice and steady. My gear's back up there. Might get a bit muddy. But fingers crossed, I can bring you a cod or a codlin up the river. It's been great this week because there's been an easterly blowing into the river. So there's been a few fish at Paul. We'll just see how it goes. I've always wanted to do this video because I was going to do it last year but I didn't get time to do it. But like I say, it's just totally different from everybody else. I don't think a video has been done here actually. There's been articles, but not a video. So, hopefully, it might be the first one on YouTube. That's towards Hawkins Point, you can fish up there as well. That's a good venue. But Danny's just informed me that he's closed the gate now, so... A bit of a track. The walk wasn't too bad. But I've got a big southwesterly blowing now, right in the face. You do want a southerly blowing, really. But this'll this'll do. It's blowing the fish towards us, hopefully. <laughs> and thank you everybody who subscribed to the channel now. And all the people. I'll try to get out the wind. Hang on. Let's just get out that wind. Oh, it is windy. Very windy. Let me just find somewhere comfortable. Yeah, that's comfortable. I've just stuck a couple of yellowtails out. I've got some yellowtails. I will show you what I've been using today. And we'll get some squid on. It's like I said, there has been a few fish in the river. It's somewhere I wouldn't like to come all the time. <laughs> Especially with that lengthy walk. Right, we'll bring you back if anything happens. Like I say, casting is a bit restricted. You have I, I like to cast off the top of there. I, I lose a little bit of distance, but 
kayak sliding and falling all over. Because they're very slippery, these rocks, very slippery. And if I did a overhead thump, it won't go as far, so. Right, I know what I deserve. A nice cup of Yorkshire tea. <laughs> you know I like my tea. Right, it's been about 20 minutes now. I think I'm going to wind in. The wind is strong. <laughs> it's blowing really well across this river. <laughs> I was going to fish the two rods, but Let's see how it goes with one fair. I'll just show you conditions anyway. Little pan round. Probably bring in a roundabout there. But yeah, I'm gonna have a look. Wet my way through all these rocks, <laughs> find a nice flat one. Oh dear, look at that. Two waiting on a panel. Turn around. <laughs> right, I'll bring you round in a minute. <laughs> just get this. Just have to bear with these rocks. <laughs> So it's not a blank, it's not the target species we want, but we want a bad start to widen. Right, I'll show you where I'm casting from. I'm not casting down here because it's really bad. <laughs> it's a bit slippery on them rocks. The wind's really strong as well, so I'm gonna have to really hit it. Nice little nice patch up here. In fact, I'm going to go off the grass, it's a lot easier. <laughs> you can't really power them on there. I know I'm a bit aware. Full round. I 
be better when the tide comes in. So that's what I'm doing. I can get well, well. facing a bit of distance. Safer. I'll try it there first and I'll do a couple of other red thumbs. But that wasn't bad, was it? First, it's like, it's like say, a target species. bits I'm using today. I've got some yellow tails. My hands are dirty. Uh, got some squid with me and some prawn. I'm just going to try a prawn now. I'm using a standard pulley. You've seen this one in my rig videos and all sorts. So yeah, it's just got a two or circle look in there. Number two or big mouth for very vast. Just on a 24 inch pulley. You don't need a pulley on here, I think. Anyway, I'll probably get a bit muddy today. That tide's coming in nicely. It'd be nice to catch a codlin, really would. My first one for the season. I have been out a lot. Back to I, I do apologise. I'm trying to keep up the wind. Let's turn that way. Yes, <laughs> it is windy, very windy, and slippery. <laughs> but not, it's not cold. I've had a lot of rain just lately as well, so. It's no good for the river, that. And you're saying that my friend Glenn, he had far off Paul Carpat the other night. So, temp put him off, <laughs> totally. And there's been a few bass, nice bass being caught yesterday. And the odd codling, small codling. The only small codling that's what's being caught anyway. No, nothing any, any size, big size. I had a nice cod from here a few years ago in my match. Down the roundabout where I am now. Six pound fight word. I won the match with that <laughs> in rackets. Anyway, enough waffling, let's get back to the fishing. I hope you're enjoying all doll, like I said. There won't be many people doing videos from this area on this, this venue. One because of the work. I don't think a lot of people know where it is. <laughs> But I have fished here a few times. I'm not the best angler on here. Some cracking anglers will come on here and really do well. I might not catch you a cod. I just wanted to do this video, I really do. I'll show you the ship going out anyway. You don't want to hear me waffling all the time. Let's have a look. There we go. We'll get some big ships in the river, especially in the mouth of the river. And today, as you can see, <laughs> it's not actually rammed with people. <laughs> or some bavers or whatever. I don't think you'll see a sail on here, barring fishermen. So yeah, that was a good uh, first cast, wasn't it? I think that wind's just dropping a little bit. Yeah, it feels a bit better. I don't feel as strong. That's a bonus. Come on, just love a coddling, won't we? I don't care if it's a small one. I say I last my last video, I blanked. To be honest, I've actually blanked in two videos. I did do another one, but I got so much weed, it was so hard to film. And to be honest, I couldn't be really bothered to put it together because 
There was nothing to see. Not a very good video, so I didn't bother. Yeah, it's good say. Look at the first cast. I hope that in there uh, a bit of a down bad, and I'm gonna blank after that. It's normally dull. <laughs> first cast syndrome. That's the word I was looking for. And to catch two fish on my first cast on a single look, well pen look. I must have been hungry. And to be honest, I never saw a bite. So I'll just saw it drop back. Oh yeah, I'm baited up again. Come on, Coddies. Just one for the camera. I'm not greedy. Would like a nice big one. So the only downside on here is the casting side. Sorry on that sluice because you've got the concrete. Right, you know the scar. It'll bring you back if anything happens. Yeah, I'm not going to leave it too long between the casts, just in case there's any whiting stuck on. So, I'm going to be a bit like, sort of like match fishing really. stuck on and I don't want that one. If it was a pin waiting. <laughs> but I'm gonna bring in and have a look. I'm gonna keep casting regular. I don't think that was a bite. The tide's coming in now well. So we'll put you down there. Sorry about the sun. Can't see that with that sun. Get a bit of weed. Popped off. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> Another waiting. That's three fish we've had. I think what I'm going to do. Try and have a oh, I'll get, get you back in a minute. Look at that. Right. Like I said, I think I'm going to do an off red thump. Probably, yeah. I'm not going to try to pendle them on these rocks. It's too slippery. A 
I'll leave my guts back. Right. I'll move you around just in case I fall on my backside and you can have a laugh. <laughs> I'll try not to. Just gonna do a little thump. You don't, you don't need a little bit distance really. I'm just trying to get my feet right. Yes, you know what I mean? It's really dodgy on your feet. <laughs> I nearly went. Right, we won't give this too long then. And that's gone about the same distance. Come over there. Yeah, it is a bit slippery. <laughs> All right. It's nearly two o'clock now. I started fishing just gone twelve. I've had three white in. Uh, I've had some little rattles on here. This is the one that's just thumped out. I didn't thump it that far. But the wind has dropped down now as well, so that's an help. It's running a bit as well, the tide is running a bit. Talking of tide, it's only a 5.4 tide today. That's a big tide book. I always go by that. I don't really care about what it is in the river. I just use a bridge tire book. <laughs> but they're not big tires anywhere. So now it is two o'clock, I'm gonna bring it in a minute, because I don't know where that line's going, I think it's gone down a bit. So yeah, I'll show you bring bring it in. See if I get another whiting on. As you see, tad is coming in now. It's filling up nicely. As I say, I've had a couple of rattles on there. Alright, we'll have a look. Probably is a whiting. Or not. We'll get on this rock here. Should be able to see it I can't see a bloody thing with that sun. <laughs> That's too sad. That needs a bit of weight there. That was well stuck in that one. Yeah, there's a bit of weight there, unless it's weed. There's a bit of weed. Let's keep that tip up a bit now. I think we've got a fish. I think. Under the weight and I think. Yeah, another weight in. So the weight in are here. <laughs> Grassy weed. Yeah, another waiting. We're getting a wait waiting every cast now. Fish rocks. Right, I'll bring you over here. 
area. You swallowed it. It's come out real easy. What I do, I put my finger in, just push it back and it comes out. So yeah, it's not the cod one that we're getting waiting. So right, I'm going to make another cast, I'll dry my hands. There's a, somebody I know <laughs> was waving to me. Uh, I think he's come down for what to see, Danny. Right, I'm going to make another cast off the top and then uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea. So we've got four waiting. <laughs> Just want the card, don't we? Right, well, I'll get this casted out. <laughs> well, that was a bit silly of me. I just had another wait and there's my clown there. I've just had a 40 centimetre weight in and I forgot to press the button. So I do apologise. It was on there, uh, squid. Silly me. What am I like? It's a nice weight in that. So that's number four. So I do apologise not recording that. I thought I'd press the button. Right, I'm going to get this baited up again. So I've had four waiting. <laughs> Silly me. Right, I'll bring you back. I'll get sorted. Yeah, I've just had another bite there. And if that was a waiting, just dropped it back a little bit. It's hard to slow down a little bit now. Yeah, I think we've got another waiting on, I think. Just got to get my rig up here. Oh, back quite a bit now. I'm just sending some yellow tails out. And a bit of squid. It's coming in quite fast hard now. It is now three o'clock. We still haven't had the elusive cod. <laughs> we might not catch one. But I won't catch them sat at home, will I? See what that bait is. Possibility we could be a bit of weed. Wing keeps dying and then getting back up again. <laughs> I hope you can see me, I've been shot. Yeah, I'll give you a little pan round now. Towards the sluice, down I think, fishing. Zooming up like that. There he is. That's Danny Frost from Wreckets. He's fished Wreckets for a long time. It's the other side of the river. So, scores on the dirt, on these slippery rocks. <laughs> It's for waiting. I do apologise about that waiting. I think I might have a bit of weed on, I've just seen it. Temperature's just dropping a little bit. I think 
think it's it won't be a massive session this I think I'm gonna fish towards dark because I want to make sure I can walk back properly over this over there but I just wanted to show you this place that's all and it can produce cod <coughs> so mate yet would be nice but if not it's just about the video being here it doesn't matter about you catching fish all the time yeah, I think there's a little bit of weed on there hey give me a right good slack line on that it's a shame I didn't catch, press the button on the camera on the lake oh well Slippery though, they've got green slime on these rocks, seaweed, and then you've got mud on your waders. A lot, a lot of matches are won from here, especially when there's a big sea on on the coast. And the cat, the catfish, the coast, a lot of lang match anglers come here, catch some nice fish as well. I've been coming here for a very long time. It's not just a venue I've just found. Been here. I've been fishing for 42 years. And I've caught a lot of fish in that time. Shame they are all on camera now, like, but that's how it is. But I have caught some nice fish. Talking of nice fish. Go check my uh, Instagram channel out. Channel? Instagram. <laughs> I've put some uh, some of the p f fish I've caught over the years, I've put them on. I think I mentioned it in my last video. I've caught some nice fish. Here's a link in my YouTube. Just, just to send it straight to it. I think that was a bit of weed, I think. That was a whiting stick on, a small whiting. Tad's coming in well in now. It's down there, look. <laughs> it's catching me up now. She's here. There's Tad, lad. And that's uh, what we're walking on. <laughs> Nice green slimy rocks. But it's a lovely venue. It's quiet as well. Probably the only people you'll see down here is the odd walker, but you'll see fishermen. The fish right through the year at different times. I was hoping for today, the, everything seems to be right. Say I've had them winds from the east. But we'll keep trying. <laughs> so tell them using yellow tails, go <laughs> They'll be black tomorrow, trying to get that off. I have got a way though. I'm not going to leave it out too long, just in case there's a white it's stuck on. Right, I'll bring it back if anything does happen. I'm going to check this bit, I think. I think I don't know if I've got weed on, so. I'll have a look down there. Hopefully I've turned the camera on this time. <laughs> Keep out the water.
had a little wait in. <laughs> That's number five. Not of the intended species. <laughs> I think I said that in my video, didn't I? I'll be back to the dreaded waiting. So that's number five. It's only a small one, that one. That one is long way around. Yes, another little one. Sorry. Another little waiting. That's number five. Over here, make a cast. It's easier off here for me. <laughs> well, it's a little bit of distance from the edge, but it's easy to check the rod. Magnets are on. Position. Swing round. We're going right round to that. And that's out there. It's going a decent way, that. <laughs> right. Try again. See if we can get a cut. Gone all right, actually. I cast into an headwind as well. A strong headwind. Putting a decent bit out. Right. Well. Yeah, so that's another waiting. It's only three o'clock now. I'm only using a panel. I reckon if I put three hooks on, God knows how many would catch. I would probably full house every go. But that's not the intended species. So I hope you're enjoying so far. I am trying to capture that codling. Hooks are still nice and sharp. Uh, I like using a 525 on here. It's like from now, that, as you saw earlier, these stones go out and then drop down. That's why I like to use a pulley, so it only works if you get a fish on, obviously. But if I've got a cod on, that's going to work perfectly. Like so, when you get back up again, so that would pull pull that down, and I've got a, quite a quick, fast re retrieve reel as well. I love the 525 pen mags. I think that roll reel's as old as me. I think <laughs> one of the very first ones that came out. It's not the cheap one; it's the, the American one. I love them rails, absolutely love them. That's got to be getting on for... for 20 odd years, I don't know, 25 years. Probably when they first came out, I don't know when they came out first. 
memory's not that good. But yeah, it feels dissolved on me. And it's still in mint condition. I like it for these these places. Get a small multiplier, yeah, like with no retriever it on it. It could get be in the snags, could get snagged up real easy. Getting a bit of weed now as well. It's still running well. It eased off and then it's picked up again. But it won't be a massive long session, as all my videos. Only, to be honest, five, six hours, that's me. I, I can't do any more than that. I don't like marathon long sessions. I don't. It goes back to me match days. I know I've gone about it, but it goes back to me match days. I'm quite happy fishing with one rod as well. It's a bit easier. I'm not, especially with the weight being here. Can you imagine if I had two rods out? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Not when I'm targeting one specific species. Like I said, it might not come. But we've had a go. And I brought you to this venue as well. I think Neville Charles will feed did an article in Sienga a long time ago on this place. Good article as well. He likes it here, yeah. does. <laughs> Ned. It's one of the fair few matches for me and Neville. Right, enough of that waffling. I think it's time to bait this up. Just in case we get a codling run. I want to be on them if they're here. Right, let's bring you back. Right, as you can see, quite a different angle now. <laughs> uh, well, on the codling front, it's not going too, too well. I thought I would have had one. Uh, definitely. But, you know, the strangest fishing. I'm going to bring it in a minute. I haven't seen any whiting taps about. And Danny's still fishing. The tide's come right in now. I'm right up on the top of the bank now. See, got a few ships going up the umber. So it's not very exciting, cod wise. But it's not for no want of trying. This time I'm just putting uh, a worm bait out. I'm just going to try a worm bait. Yeah, the show ship's coming down the river now. We do with one of them slack liners, don't we? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to bring in in a minute. See some run out there. But I've enjoyed myself. And it's like I say, it's been an exciting video this, because because I ain't caught cod. 
I know that was the target fish, but we haven't blanked. We've got, I don't know, is it five now? Five? I think it's five, yeah, we have got five, I think. And we're not really purposely fishing for them. I'm slinging big baits out. I'm trying to avoid them, actually, but they'll still take it. White and the greedy fish. To be honest, not being horrible, but I think anybody can catch white in car. Especially when they're there in numbers. Look, I just can't get off the mark without cuddling. Just hope I can catch you a decent one this year. I have had my fair share of cuddling over the years. <laughs> I have caught some nice fish. Some massive bags as well. But you get different years. I'm a bit muddy. <laughs> I think we're going to have a look at this, we're going to have a change of bait, I don't want to leave it too long. So hopefully, somewhere down there, you should be able to see me. You know, I've got to get some cranking power going. All them rocks down there. Which one here, I think. Oh, we Keep the tip up. Oh, we got it. It's a waiting, it's a waiting. I'm getting smaller. <laughs> That's been on a while. Ay, ay, ay. Another one of the little things. I think that's six now. Right. It's not you I'm after. <laughs> it's Cod. I'm just going to put him. I think he's drowned. He's been on a slide. I want to get that put it up. Yep, they're getting smaller. Right. Just put some yellow tail on here. Magnet form. Not on the tip. Oh.
has come better. Whew, that was better. The wind's dropped a bit, so yeah, it certainly went that one. Hopefully that's got a cod written on it. <laughs> Hopefully. Found me a cod. Waiting. I know there'll be only five on the video because, like I said, I forgot to press the button. <laughs> oh, pardon me. So the waiting are there, giving us a bit of uh, entertainment. I really thought there'd be a couple of cod here today. Everything's been right for it, really. And there's been a few about in the river. Unless they're waiting to get to the baits before Cod found them, which is a good possibility. These taffles my trace up, spinning. It's the only thing we're waiting. Well and truly. Let's to get another hook out. Really, really destroy that. One of the reasons, like, someone just commented on there, uh, on snuds and that, on one of my videos. And to be fair, they're not, man, they're not quite heavy. It's 30 pound. Admesia. But with a lighter snud, whiting. <laughs> I think it's uh, a bit of a disaster. Right, I want to get this out. I'll build it up again. Let's see if I can get. Let's see if I can get one. Just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? What a gorgeous afternoon this is. Beautiful. Ski a little pan round. Tell you, I'll take it off the stand. All inside. What a girl just there. It's just nice to be out fishing. Peace and quiet, that. We had a couple of whites in. We haven't got the cod that was after. But hey, what a nice day to be out. Definitely come in a lot. I'd say this is a 5.4 tad on the Bridlington tad, which is not a big tad really. And they're not beautiful. It's catching the sun as well. Anyway, again, thank you to all the subscribers. Definitely going up all the time. A look, it just keeps going up and up, and the views are going up all the time. So thank you to all them people that take the time to look at the video. Even though if you don't subscribe, I really appreciate it. I never thought we'd get this far as we are. I was contemplating and giving it up soon. Like I say, I've got a lot, lot of uh, family and that going on. I want to spend time with them. I am 61 now. I don't think I'll be coming back to these places in a couple of years' time. Not that walk, anyway. 
Are they going down the ramps at Easington and Mappleton? The fishing aren't they? So hopefully I can keep going. They aren't going to give up. I thought about it. I did have a good thing and I thought that's enough. But people are enjoying the videos. So I'll keep doing it while you keep enjoying as best I can. They're not perfect, I don't claim to be. My best years of fishing have gone by, to be honest. They have, they've gone by. I've had some fantastic results. So, I, I'm not being funny, but I have got the t-shirts for it all. I have been there. <laughs> and like I said, I've fished with some fantastic anglers. I have really good anglers class anglers and some good good friends and I've also met some good people like your good self on YouTube for all the fantastic comments you give me really appreciate I think it's you people actually keep me going you really do it's just thank you thank you very much I'm gonna have another cup of tea I think I'll be packing up before dark. I ain't gonna stay into dark. I don't fancy climbing over all these rocks. It's a bit slippery. But I've had my little session here. I've really enjoyed it. I've had some fish. <laughs> Obviously, not the cod. But to be honest, I'm just glad to be out. And we've, we're not blanked. It's not a blank. I'd say if I was fishing two rods, I had three hooks on, more like I used to do in my match days. Oof, we'd have up team waiting. But them days are gone with me. And I'm, I'm not disrespecting waiting. They're a lovely little fish. Uh, every fish deserves its respect. But I'm not targeting them. But they will come along, which is unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about that. They are blank savers. Probably if the match was on today and there's lads here fishing, playing with us, lads and aren't lads, etc. Records. They'll be banging three hooks on there. Oof, they'll be banging them in. You can get some really big bags of weight in. Luckily, I, when I fished records, when I was in records, there was loads of waiting came in, but loads of people took them to make patties and etc. And even the, the chef took them from the pub. Uh, they didn't go to waste. And I don't mind a waiting at all, the big waiting, it's the nice to eat. Quite a sweet fish. I'll tell you what, as well, the small ones are fantastic for piking, they're brilliant. But on my videos, in the, in, the, in the videos, you'll see that I just don't do cod fishing and beach fishing. I do carping, I do tench fishing, I do piking. They're all, they're not fantastic videos. I ain't done really, you know, proper piking ones, not really. Again, <laughs> I've got my big fish. But, uh, yeah, they're on there. And I do enjoy my piking. I will be going piking this winter. So it won't be just out and out cod fishing this year. We'll be sitting on the bank. Hopefully try to get a couple of pike. Some big girls maybe. But as you know it's going quick already. We're at end of October now. Right, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Right, I'm going to check my bait. I haven't seen any baits on here, but we'll have a look. Keep catching the bottom of that one.
This feels a bit heavy. Just as well. Don't start reeling. <laughs> some weed on. We might be a fish on here. Uh, weed. <laughs> oh god, how many waiting? <laughs> there we go again. Couple of venters. That's a good one. Oh. That's what we're catching. <laughs> so that's an M1. That's a better one. Ah, uh, it must be waiting city out there. <laughs> oh. uh, get this fish back. <laughs> that's twice today. That's a decent sized one as well. Well, that one. That one's another 40 centimetre. The other one's a little one. But, it's not the cod we're after. At least we're catching. I thought that felt a bit heavy. So we've cut eight weight and we're not even trying to catch them. <laughs> right, I'll have another cast off here. Put a smell a bit on this town. So I've been to get a bit further out. I like leaving the lead and that's just knock onto the side, but it should be alright. We're gonna go a bit further around again. It's not on the tip, is it? No. A bit fiery in that wind because <laughs> I've got my magnets on six. But once the cast gets away, I back the magnets off to nearly completely so there's no magnets on. So that's what I do in the cast. <sighs> Whew. Wind's got up again. So we've had waiting. <laughs> Any numbers. They're here, aren't they? Just let me rod it properly. Just can't get through to the cod, can we? There's too many waiting, I think. I think that's eight, I'm not sure. I'll just check. More twisting. <laughs> i put a smaller bit on that time, see if I can get a bit more distance. I thought there would be here, the waiting. Like I say, he'll put three hooks out there. A bit mental. He'd lose a bit of distance late, like, but... Especially the waiting rig I've got. It really does catch them, the three hooks. <laughs> I 
No, I was winning matches. I was winning records. Purposely just bagging up on waiting. I could average, and I mean average, 25 to 32 waiting in a match. Well waiting. And we fish big sizes as well. We don't fish, we didn't fish small sizes. Our sizes is a bit bigger than most people fish. So it had to be a decent weight in to weigh in. But yeah. Easy easy eighteen to twenty pound bags, easy. And you have to do it because if you don't, you, you don't win matches because everybody else is doing it. So you had to, it's either you went for a cod for the biggest fish, or you adapted. But I could catch my weight in numbers, I really could. <laughs> I won a lot, of, a lot of matches through that. Them days are gone now. I don't do much fishing. I retired when I was 50. But in a way, I was talking to a lad at Dimlinton. I'm only talking because it's no, no cod action. <laughs> I was at Dimlinton and uh, he saw me. He said, would you consider coming back doing it, John? So I said, no. He said, do you miss it? I said, I miss, I miss the people. The crack of it. But I can't do that no more. Unfortunately, I'm too old. And to be honest, I lost interest. I did lose interest in just doing that. I wanted to do other things. So, alright, I'm gonna break this up. There's my green elastic that's come off. <laughs> Found it now. Right, see if I can catch you a cob before it gets dark. I tell you what, even if I got a little codling like that, a species of a codling would be nice. <laughs> Definitely go back. <laughs> But, while I'm here, there is a chance of a decent fish. Anyway, £5 plus anything. And if I do catch something decent, I will be taking it home because I like to eat cod. I really do. I don't think there's anything like a piece of fresh cod being freshly caught. I do eat fish, and I do eat my cod, when I catch them. <laughs> Let's put that elastic on there, just in case I need it. Right, it's paired up, enough waffling. Right. It's drawing in now a bit. <coughs> I'm going to put my hat on, right? Yep. <laughs> Keeps moving. As you see, it's hard to come right in. Uh, I've had a couple of taps on this one already. So I'm going to bring it in again in a minute. Uh, that is a 5 4 tad, how old all. Hmm. Maybe just a little bit big. Because <laughs> uh, it's a good job I'm casting a decent way out, because that goes out and then drops down. So I'm over them rocks. So you need to get over them, so you don't get snagged up. And I'm absolutely flat out with this wind. But yeah, we're going to bring it in anyway. Let's have a look, see if there's any waiting on. So this time. That's where you need the power. Let's get the above them rock. 
Thanks. Line was a bit slack then actually. We, oh god, we've got another fish. <laughs> we got another weight in I think. Spinning in the water. Yep, another one. There we go. I think that's number nine. <laughs> I saw a bite in all that time. <coughs> it's only a small one. Yeah, it's another one. Right, I'll have another cast. So, oh, we seem to be catching. It's waiting. Oh, I forgot to mention fishing with the old girl the Ziplex TZ500 5205 mag hey, let's have another chuck then Magnets are on. This is round the tip. Always check that before you cast. That's not right. Something's not right there, so let's just go up there and see what's going on. Okay. Don't want the name miss up do we? Right. Let's go for a really big one. clips come off that time. It's on them impact leads. Pressure on the wind on the cast. A lot of line out there. Yeah, come and clip that time. Oh, that was hard. Right, let's put you back there. So I think that's now I'm way too we've had. We're probably going to get <coughs> I'm going to give it another half an hour or so I don't want to be on here and uh, I don't want to be off actually I'll tell you the truth Yeah the bit that uh, I saw it go out then it unclipped just before it hit the top of the cast. But there's some pressure with this wind. I don't have to tie this turn. I think it has. She's starting to run off of it. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just starting to move. 
I think. Right, I think I'm gonna have another another bit up. And then I think I'm gonna make tracks. See if I can get I'll tell you what we'll do. I've only got probably a couple of casts left. We'll see if I can get to town waiting. Which one it's not the target. I know, I appreciate that. I'm not here for waiting. So I am trying to catch a card. But I think they're getting on to the bit before anything else gets there. Right, let's pay it up. Right, I've just had a good bite there. It dropped me back a bit as well, slack. Could be another white in. Yeah, it could be another waiting. Just drop my rod back like that. Like that. It's done starting to go down. Level look. I think Tad is starting to go down now. Spam point. Spam word. Isn't that gorgeous? What a cracking view. It's nice to just be out in it. Would have been to top it off now would be a nice to just catch her coddling. Another white in a tow, I think. <laughs> Another white in. Another one. I think that's number 10. Oh, it's always been to be catching today. Uh, 
there's this one's tucking it right down. Oh, he has as well. We'll just see where the hook is. There we go. It's easy. Just bend it with your finger. Put your finger in. Just bend it and pop out. Don't do your finger any good. <laughs> Sorry. One there. Sorry about that. Another white in. Yeah, just put your finger in. Push it. Put it round the bend of your finger and it flicks out. So that's ten waiting. Tad's <laughs> going down now, so. I'm going to have a little walk up there and just have a cast up there. Might see if you could see me. Just have a little walk up there. Just up there. Just up tired a bit. See if I had some grass to cast off. Here. Big goals, that's what you gotta watch. That's nice and firm. Have a cast here. Then from that drop. That. All the way around. And in Blue Peter fashion, I've naffed that one up. I have as well. <laughs> I hit that a bit early. Didn't get the swing up high enough as well. A dodgy cast. That might be the last cast as well. Because it just didn't go out as far. No, I didn't get the back swing up. Making a flat cast. I'll leave it there a minute and see what happens. Ugh, dear John, unless I'm getting tired. Right. Just leave leave it on there for a minute too, because that's nice. Hmm, <laughs> that didn't go very good. I didn't think I got my back swing up. It's just waiting. Sorry. Just waiting, that's all we're catching. No cuddling at all. My fingers are a bit sore with them waiting. Right, I'll bring it back soon. Yeah, so let's have a look at it straight away. That was on a miscast as well. Let's have a 
a look. If there's some on. Double white. Oh, you're joking. Oh, I thought he had a cod then. Oh dear. <laughs> Look at that. I thought we had a cod then. <laughs> Double whitings again. I've only got a panel rig on. Oh, there must be loads. Oh dear, yeah. Oh dear. White in the city, I think. like a white infest. <laughs> Let's put my finger in there. Get it in the shank of the hook. And there it pops out. Size of them, they all size. Oh yeah. 35. 34. Waiting fast. <laughs> I was looking to get away with that cast actually. I'll just dry my hands. Hmm, I thought I was into a cod then. It's not the intended species. I'll show you what I did on that cast as well. I'm just putting a single yellow tail on for distance. I've got a pulley on. Bit of squid head. That's trying to catch a cod. Right, I'm going to go up here. You probably won't see me, but I'm not going to. I think I'm not going to make this last cast. I think. Yeah, because walking over here in the dark is going to be really tricky. Let's see if I can get your swing up, John. I think I'm getting tired. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm too well out there. Might be getting a bit tired. I 
it's still gone a long way out but it's, I didn't feel any compression in that Mis mistimed it that's the last two cast there <laughs> so I think what that is that's going to be last cast definitely I think it's time to go this one's going down like I said I don't want to be walking over this lot in dark so if we don't get another bite thank you for watching it's been a bit of a waiting session really want the intended species like I said I was after the cod uh, I've brought you to a brand new place that I haven't even done on my videos either so this is all though I hope you enjoyed it I have tried my best trying to catch that codling I thought that was it then because it slack it and gave me a really good bite a double whiting again there must be just loads of whiting on there but we haven't blanked and I've got that water back as well like so right I'm going to start packing down I'm going to leave the camera in for the last cast I've don't know how many is it 12 I don't know 12 is it <laughs> I thought we had a cod there <laughs> oh well Right guys, <coughs> guys, where did that come from? Right everyone, I'm getting a bite of chuck now. That's just gone straight away. Getting little bites and little pull rounds. So, this is the end of the video. I'm going to pull this in. The sun's gone down now. I've got my headlamp on just in case it gets dark before I get back. But I am now going to pack up. It's only a short session. Say that when you're drunk. <laughs> no, it's only a short session. I've only fished from about, I think it's half past 12, I think. I'll check what time I started. And it's just gone half five now. So I'm going to pack down. Like I say, I don't want to be struggling over these rocks in the dark. the potholes as well you gotta watch out where you're walking. There's a bite now look. just pulled around again. So I'm gonna bring this in. Let's have a look. Be another waiting probably. really cranking these in because them rocks at the front yeah I think we've got another way to yeah Yeah, getting smaller. <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm going to pack down now. So, oh, back. that's 13 waiting. It's time to go on. I've enjoyed myself. It's been nice being back out. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, give me a like, share, and subscribe. It's really appreciated, and I appreciate everyone. Until you see me again, hopefully I'll be back on the beach somewhere.
this has been old all and I've enjoyed coming I've just got that lengthy walk back now so anyway take care everyone I'll see you in the next one